Hello everyone, this is Amber with Staying Crafty. Today we're going to be making a coffee themed card and I'll be using the Cricut cartridge called Love You A Latte. So the first thing I have out is my Cuddlebug machine and I'm going to be using this Argyle embossing folder. And I've got my cut which I made at 3.5 inches and I'm going to place this in there. You're only going to see the middle portion of this cut because of the layers that will go on top of it. So I've got my A plate, one B plate, then I place my folder down, and another B plate. Really nice and simple. Just run that on through. Love using my cuddle bug. So here's how the embossing came out. Really nice and deep impression there. Very happy with that. So I'm just using my tweezer B scissors and my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to assemble my cut. I really like this adhesive because it has a nice fine tip on it. Makes it really easy to put things together. So there's the main part of my cut, but I have one more tiny little piece. Okay, this is super tiny. So I'm using this Sakura Quickie glue pen and it's really, really fine point. It's like a pen, it's not like a glue so tiny which is perfect for this itty bitty cut Look how tiny that is it says cafe and it's inside a heart it's like microscopic so now that I've got that assembled I'm adding that to my cute little coffee mug now I've decided I'd like to ink around the edges so I'm using this uh, creamy caramel lighter color uh, near the vanilla portion and I am using a darker color around the rest of it. So I'm just going around all the sides and ink it up to give it a little bit of dimension. Then I'm going back to the lighter color that I used to do these little like wisps of steam that are supposed to be coming out the top of the cup. Now I've got some nest abilities. This is the Lazy Circle set. I'm using not the largest but the one below it second to largest or I don't really know what you would call that so anyway I'm just kind of laying it out to determine my size I like that size um, the wisps are gonna hang over the top a little bit and I'm cool with that so I'm just cutting a piece so that it will fit through my machine and you use a plate B plate and a C plate for this one you need that thicker plate to really push into that nestability and then you kind of have to go through and poke out any extra parts Okay, now here I am fitting what size circle I want to layer on top of this. So I'm just having a look and seeing what I want to do there. But one thing I really want to make note of is when you're holding your nest abilities up like this and you're trying to see how they fit, you need to remember you're not looking at the inside of it or the outside of it. You need to look at that line in the middle because that's where it's actually going to cut. So keep that in mind when you're fitting them. Um, you kind of want to look in between the outside and the inside lines. So now that I have that, I'm using this uh, Stampin' Up! background stamp called Dot Dot Dot. And I'm just back to my Close to Coco ink again. And I'm just going to stamp that right onto this circle. Very cute. Now I'm doing the assembly. So I'm just putting these layers together. The coffee mug is way down toward the bottom there. And then I'm adding my little wisps. My larger one will hang off the top a little bit and that's absolutely fine. So now I'm using the EK Success Open Scallop Border Punch. Very cute and I thought it matched that lacy circle very well. So after I punch it, I'm just cutting off some of the excess here so I can work with it a little bit easier. Now I'm going to take some Colorbox Fluid Chalk Ink in Chestnut Roan. I have this really cute stamp by the Paper Studio and the set is called Coffee Cafe. And the stamp I'm using says, I don't do mornings until I've had my coffee. So there I'm just stamping on a scrap piece. Just going to make sure my image is coming out the way I like. And then I stamp it down on my card and realized I got that Fluid Chalk Ink on my fingers and on my card. But I've decided that it's going to be fine. One of those smears will be covered up by this piece and the other will be kind of near the inking I'm doing on the edges. So I'm just laying this down and using a pencil to mark about how tall I want this to be. 
So instead of having to really measure it, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm just taking it to my paper trimmer, cutting where I made my mark, and I erased the little extra bit of pencil, but I didn't show that on camera. So I've just taken a temporary adhesive to position this down and snip off the edges, and that was just so I could really see how the scallops would fall on my card and try to get it close to even on each side. Now I've got some twine from the twinery, and this color is called Cappuccino. Perfect for a coffee card, don't you think? So I'm trimming off the extra, and now I'm going to tie a bow in the middle where the two pieces of twine cross. So I start with a simple knot, and then I tie it into a bow. It is a little bit tricky for me, my fumbly fingers, to tie a bow that small, but luckily twine is a lot more forgiving than ribbon when it comes to that. So I'm just taking a little mini glue dot, rolling it up in a ball on my scissors, and sticking it under that bow to help it stay. Now I've got another stamp, and this one is by SP and Company from their Scripty Scripts set, and I'm just stamping this four times to cover as much of the card as I need to cover. And there we go. Now I am going to ink all around the edges. And see, this is why I think that ink smear would be covered up enough. Between the stamping and the inking, I figure it's not going to be that obvious. So now I'm taking that border piece that I had prepared with the twine and putting more adhesive over the back of it to really seal that twine down and make sure it adheres really well to the card. That's important to me when I'm adding anything dimensional like ribbon or twine or things like that. I really like um, to make sure I have tons of adhesive. I was just fiddling with my bow a little bit there. And I'm just going to stick this right down on my card. I'd have to get my head in the shot a little bit to see where I was putting the thing. <laughs> kind of hard to do when you can't get a good angle. So I'm just pressing that down really well. And the only thing left to do is I'm just using some pop dots on the back of my lacy circle. And I'm just going to stick that down to my card. And that is a wrap. So here we go. Sticking it down and we are done. Here is a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, please remember that I have lots more projects on my blog than I'm able to get on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, it's stayingcrafty.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.